it's time for another killer bunny sequence. This goes way beyond Fibonacci because the students get to choose each step of the way whether they want to add or subtract. Let's see how it works. Here's that killer bunny. You can see he's trying to get to the number 13. How is he going to do it? Well, we always start with three ones, then we can add them together and make three, or we can take the last two numbers and subtract them. So that would make two. Three minus two would be one. Three plus two plus one would be six. Two plus one plus six would be nine. One plus six plus nine would be 16. And you can keep on going. Now, I've got to 15, uh, 31 minus 15 is 16, 16 minus 15 is 1, 16 minus 1 is 15. It looks like I'm going on a good path here, and I've got to 13. That took me 17 steps. This is your first exercise. See if your students can get to 13 faster than I did. Here's two ways to do it. Uh, the first one that I came up with was this, so I um, now am dropping down by twos each time, and I get to 13 in only 16 steps. And this one was the best I've ever come up with, and I don't know if this is the best possible, maybe your students have beaten me, but that one only took me 10 steps. I think this is a really interesting problem to get your students to put on a lapel pin on that nasty bunny any number that they choose, and then to have a mini competition to see who can get to that number fastest. This mini competition is for grade three students learning subtraction. If you're learning algebra, then I want you to prove that you can reach any number with a combination of adding the last three numbers and subtracting the last two numbers. For those of you working on the algebra problem, here's a hint. This is the way I solved it. I got A, B, and C as my first three numbers, and then I find a way to get back to B again. The number before B, I can make that one as large as I want. So why does that help me in knowing that I can reach any number? I'll leave that up to you.